My name's Dave DeBow, founder of MoneyPartnerFormula.com, and this show is built for everyday real estate investors who are actively doing deals and looking to scale using other people's money. So if you're an active real estate investor and you want to get featured on the show to talk about your own real estate and capital raising experiences, then just go to DaveInterviewsYou.com. Now let's get rolling with this episode and remember to subscribe for daily interview content. All right, guys, welcome to Property Profits Podcast. I'm your host, Bryce Kaminsky, filling in for Dave Dubow. And have you ever wondered how a stay-at-home mom became a savvy real estate investor, creatively navigating deals in Iowa and beyond? Today, I'm joined by Ann McCleary, a pro in owner financing, fix and flip and more from Iowa to Arkansas, and now I in Tennessee and Colorado. Ann, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. <laughs> there's a lot there. It seems like, uh, is there any states you're not working in yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess all of them, but the ones mentioned so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's start, let's start at the beginning, you know, being a stay at home mom, um, that's a full-time job already. And then you add on real estate, which for a lot of people is in part-time, at least full-time usually. Uh, how did you find the time? How did you get started in this whole real estate thing? I actually got started. Um, and so 2016, I was actually laid off from a corporate uh, world. Um, mm -hmm. and, be, and I wanted to stay home with my kids. I tried in-home daycare. I tried virtual assistant. And then I ran into uh, Dean Graziasi and Sean Terry's like, thing about real estate. My husband's like, I've been wanting to do that forever. And I ended up being the one to take it on. Uh, we actually got our first deal or first property right off a of bandit sign because we live by a major highway. And then it turned into, we're like newbies, no clue what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We had the program and everything. And I ended up um, getting a mentor at that time for a uh, subject to deal. So mm -hmm. he ended up taking over payments, taking over title. And I helped him find a contract buyer, got paid out for that. Within six months, I also had a wholesale deal with him uh, split that I had a lead come in from a referral for uh, my workout. Ladies like, hey, you buy houses? I was like, all right. So, uh, which is rare, you know, for getting a, you know, deal closed within six months. That can be rare for a lot of new leads. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I actually loved marketing uh, through Facebook. I uh, get all my deals actually through Facebook by Fell Trade Group. It's something that I do. Um, and so in January, 2020, uh, we went our separate ways with a mentor. I kind of did my own thing and I actually got a house under car. I bought a house and I ended up um, the seller. It was just a really rough house, mm -hmm. no kitchen, uh, falling in roof, no heater, uh, <laughs> leaky pipe. The bathroom was good. The bedrooms are good. I bought it uh, for twenty five hundred, but minus property taxes. I was in arrears, and he walked away about fifteen hundred dollars. But I sold on the back end for a, probably twenty five thirty grand to a contract buyer, and they brought down a down payment. And I still have that house, making cash flow, uh, netting right now. It's just that one right now, four hundred a month. Nice. Um, and it, and then so then. COVID hit yeah. and it, uh, we had hybrid is what we call it for school. Mm. And so where they stayed home half the time and, and then went they to went school to school. Half the time. Yeah. It kind of so, doesn't really, didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, but that's a whole other podcast. Yeah. They, that kind of woke me up a little bit because over the summer, it wasn't so hard to do real estate with them being home. They actually went to properties with me. That they, they, my kids were with me and understanding the process. It was when homework or actually like kind of homeschooling and that really like that hit home for me because that is, that is a full-time job for a mom to do. It was mm -hmm. a lot. And I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know how I can do this if it continues. You know, we didn't know what the future held. And at that point I was like, I don't even know, like I need to, I don't know what to do. And I ran into this uh, five-day boot camp uh, with this uh, awesome, amazing uh, coach at the, at the time, and I couldn't keep up with the boot camp because, of course, I'm trying to keep up with homeschooling, yeah. doing my business, yeah. all that jazz. And so, 
I was like, okay, end of the year of January 20 or December 2020, am I going to take this for real or not? And so I was like, okay, I, yeah, I got with him, started with him January 2020, 2021, and I learned systems and processes from him. That's how mm -hmm. I was able to start managing everything in my life, my kids, um, my business. Mm -hmm. Um, and that year also grew with, uh, you know, I, I started getting, um, leads from an investor. He didn't do outside of our Des Moines, the Des Moines and surrounding area. He had smaller towns, trusted me to work on those. And so I started getting leads that way. And I started getting real backed up that I was mm -hmm. like, I'm going to have to get a virtual assistant if I'm going to have to flow with this, which was a new whole process. But if it wasn't for the coach that I hired, persistence and processes, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, especially being able to do this from home with my kids. Um, that was a huge change. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, that was with a free CRM. We just, you know, we use Trello and, you know, just didn't have automation, which is what I needed. And that was the next step was also transitioning into a CRM that had automations. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's where it came from and where I am today. And, uh, you know, was it over four and a half years now? You know, I've done over 50 plus wholesale deals. I don't can't keep count anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. I also help other investors sell their properties. I'm pretty much known as the small town niche girl. Mm -hmm. I can get the property sold in small towns. Uh, usually, I literally do have like my buying partners, I call them cash buyers. They actually send other investors to me. Like the, <laughs> they have they small want, towns. They want to buy in these... Uh... <laughs> I guess you'd call it like a secondary or tertiary market where it's like, maybe there's not even a hospital, you know, maybe there's not even a, maybe there's one high school, like that size of the town or bigger than that, 40, 50,000 people. What what do you see the oh. average of your pro of populations there? Um. Well, I mean, we've got, I've gone from, let's just say, well, there's been like just a high school there and they have an elementary, but I want to say the smallest town that I've actually got a deal done was about 20 houses there. So, <laughs> so one, you, like sold, you sold uh 5% <laughs> of the, the of town. Yeah. yeah. And then I did another, there's another one. I just uh, recently did this year. Um, I seller financed it in a small town, same thing, probably less than 20 houses in it. Middle of nowhere. I actually did have a bar. We were kind of, not whatever on that but just saying my partner's like there's a bar so I was like okay and uh like yeah I actually seller finance that house in the seller um zero down um I mean it was like a three percent interest rate but I did it like over I get the full 10 years and I just sold on the on the back end for 30 grand more so mm. and they brought and did everything brought the down payment and everything I didn't have to pay any down payment so even small towns I can do that too so mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you like most about the business that you're in now I to be honest I love the cash flow I just mm -hmm. absolutely and you know the the wholesale world is nice it's nice to get a yeah, it's nice to get a chunk of check, but you have to remember yeah, that we, you're like hustling. You're like, you have yeah, to keep we call going it, for we that. call it in uh, <laughs> hit, a, hit a lick. You hit a lick, you made it happen. <laughs> but, you know, it is nice when people go to work and uh, pay their bills, and those bills happen to be from you. So you make that, oh, it's the first of the month dance, and then the money comes in. So maybe what isn't so great about the business you're in? Uh, I guess uh right now i think it's to work <laughs> depends on the sellers i guess i'd have to say so i love the fact that i do i love making them you know smile and like they're done or i can find a solution for them or even my contract finding a contract buyer and just the smile on their face like i get a house you know not yeah. getting being able to get the house i just would say there's times where I'm just like, I don't know with the sellers and if they're not happy or not, even if they're getting a check, it feels like they're just not happy. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> so, and most of all, the hardest part right now of growing real estate is, uh, it's capital. And so that's really hard for me to start to build that. I'm working with my partner and here, he's in Marshalltown, Iowa. 
And mm. so he's, yeah, you know, he's looking for it too. And it's like, we get all these houses and it's like, we got to find that way to get, get the houses and get them closed. So. Yeah. 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 It's, it's been, a it's been, uh, what would you say the word is? I'd say challenging as the buyers are a little bit scared of what's going on, but uh, there's always, you know, there's always a buyer for a good deal. So when it comes to real estate investing, what do you think your secret sauce is? You know, what comes easy to you that other people might find difficult to do? You know, I've actually been told that. I have been told that I just have this uh, small town kind of girl, because I actually grew up in a small town, um, small town kind of feel and just mm. like this uh, big heart and like I've actually like I literally have a, a property owner right now we're trying to I know like in the real estate world they say you know give your offer move on and in certain cases it's like the sellers come back to you if you made an impression on them and I closed mm -hmm. you know money in the follow-up I've closed a deal from the follow-up after a year of following up and it's the fact that they come back and they actually say, I only want to work with you. I liked you. You were sweet on the phone. You were just a nice person. You were honest. You told me everything. And I just want to work with you. And I have a property owner that right now, because when it comes to the wholesale world, um, for a newbie wholesalers or anything like that, Des Moines can be a challenging market to get leads in. Yeah. Um, so that's unless you're paying for the marketing and you know how that can cost you at that point and so um what's i have the what's you know, the cost per lead these days oh i to be honest with you i don't even look into that because i get all my leads for free <laughs> i just oh, i don't, even, you're like, I don't even worry about that like you're yeah, you're, yeah. you're doing your marketing through groups oh even there there you go yeah, you got or, the, uh, uh, the organic uh, lead generation going on so yeah i, I like what you said is interesting yourself. it's like um People don't remember what you say as much as they remember how that you made them feel. So I think, you know, if you're, if people, if you're wondering what the secret sauce is, if you boiled it down, it might be the way you make people feel. They come back and they say, I only want to work with you. So what does the future look like over the next 12 months? You know, what sort of goals or aspirations do you have for your business? Um, actually, so that's another thing. I actually had uh, hired another coach at the beginning of the year. It was only for three months. She actually helped me realize something that at first I was like in this mentality of uh, making like three, 3,000 a month or something like that. I was like 300 or 300 a door. And I was like going to be like 39, 39 doors. And I'm just like, or houses. And I'm like, dude, that's not, nope, I'll go back to wholesaling. I know I can get mm -hmm. the hustle and get it, whatever. And it's just a matter of um, increasing my net that I want to make per door. And so I'm wanting to make 500 a Five hundred dollars a door, and get to five thousand a month right now. Um, hoping to get uh, just five thousand. I think it's actually twenty thousand a month. It says it in my life statement. So there you go. <laughs> I'm happy and grateful that my real estate investments are generating twenty thousand dollars a month. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. So that's, that's where you're at, or where to. where you're looking to go to. To get to, yep, right. Yeah. To get to there, yep. Well, if you believe it, you can achieve it, right? If you can, if you can actually, you know, manifest that. And, you know, one thing that was always interesting in front of the high school that I went to, if they had this one thing up, probably like two years, they never changed the sign. It's like, aim for the moon and land in the stars, you know? So if you set your goals high enough, if you get half of what you set out for, it'll still be more than enough. So what are you doing yeah. right now to fund your deals? Uh, I actually... I've used, uh, utilized uh, credit cards to get my down payments for my, I actually just had a sub two, uh, my first sub two at the beginning of this year uh, of my own to have. Mm -hmm. And so I utilized my credit cards to do that and just use the contract buyer's down payment to pay that off. Uh, other than that, um, that's it right now. Other than doing wholesale deals, I actually do right now in Iowa, it is um, simultaneous closings. Or, um, of course, assignments, um, but simultaneous closing, you truly don't have to have the money, the transaction to get the closing done. So the mm -hmm. buyers and actually covers the front end. So, 
Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about money. You know, what, what's the strategy that you're using right now to access uh, more money to fund your deals? Uh, let's see. Um, talking with people. I've actually talked to like my chiropractor, my doctor, uh, mm -hmm. those kind of mm -hmm. things, throwing it out there. Family. Uh, I know my, uh, my stepdad, he, you know, he's always asking him, like, he actually sees my properties. He's in, he lives in Colorado. And so that's why it got me hooked into Colorado over there. And um, he actually was like, he saw some of my properties that I, you know, get listed. And he's like, what's up with this one? And so, you know, kind of engage with them and say, hey, this is how this could work. But yeah, just another you know, deal just, you missed, right? Yep. <laughs> so exactly right. Um, uh, yeah, networking, reaching out to beyond the fam family and friends, you know, to the to the chiropractor and stuff like that. So when you're, um, you know, raising money from your existing connections, how does that, you know, what are you doing to, you know, stay relevant to them or update them on your progress, things like that? Uh, actually, they always ask, like, I'm also uh, part of a networking group, and I was able to open up to 20 people in that group. I mean, it ranged from, uh, and that's how I got my inspector. Uh, so I have an inspector out of that group. Uh, mm -hmm. There's an agent in there. So it just opened up to a wide range of people in there. And so um, just consistently, um, we can pass around paperwork show them, hey, what's the latest deal that I have is going on? What would I be looking for? Same with my chiropractor. When I go in, he's just like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, I have this property. And so it's just continuous um, communication with them and letting them know um, what's going on and what I'm doing in my business. And, and mm -hmm. yeah, so I've actually passed out uh, in the networking group and showed that. And I had somebody like, hey, let's connect. Can we go out to lunch? And have that conversation because she's going to be looking into investing too. And she said she doesn't want to deal with being a landlord and all that stuff. And being mm -hmm. a private lender sounds really cool. So that yeah, was instead where of we the had the a tenants and toilets, so. right? Yeah. Well, no that's tenants, exactly no toilets, toilet. just, uh, just cash flow. So, um, you know, with, with what you're doing now, are you, uh, find the deal and then the money? Or do you prefer to have your capital lined up and then go looking for deals? Well, I actually, so I actually do have, I almost forgot to say that. I do have, let's see, let's see, David. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to name their names. I know people's names better. I, th I think I have four or five guys right now. So one's actually in Iowa that is a private lender. So I have the money lined up. So if I really, it's just that their interest rates are so high. I was like, man, yeah, it's not going to work yeah. for my deal right now. At this point, it's not going to be worth it going through them. Uh, I had my New York, New York private lender guy. So it's not like I don't have the money ready to lined up. I needed it. Like I can call my New York guy and be like, Hey, I have this property. He just says, tell me what you got going on. Tell me what you need. And then we just go to closing with it. I actually did deal with him. That was the coolest thing ever. Uh, it was so sweet. It was just so cool. <laughs> I'm like, this is awesome. So. Yeah, it's nice to be able to get most or all of the money. If you find a good deal, usually the hard money lenders can get you almost 100%, depending on uh, what you bought it for. So, you know, with people to invest significant amounts of money with you, uh, they need to know you, like you, and trust you. What are you doing for each of those things? Uh, the no like, and trust. Let's see here. Uh, showing that I'm getting deals done is a big one. I've actually, like, every time, I don't know what it is, but I've had... A lot of people come to me, they're like, I see you posting, you close another deal. I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. And so get my name out there, telling people what I do um, through my Facebook is a huge area where I get a lot of things done. Um, and then when I'm talking to people, like say I'm at workout, I literally like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, buy houses. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just telling people what I'm doing and, and then they get to know me with posting whether they want to meet with me. Yep. Yeah. Meeting with me too. Knowing that yeah. I'm actually doing it is what it is. It's huge. So yeah. showing that you're doing it. Like posting the stuff that I see on Facebook, like um, I've actually had, I'm actually helping some newbies right now as well. Um, and they have a sub two deal that I'm working with them on. And I try to give some tips on that. Like it is about like Facebook is, how people do view you and that is one area of the no like and trust and it's what you have in your facebook like if you got these reels go i mean 
do what you want with your Facebook. But I know with mine, people do say something. They're like, I love what you post. Like, you know, I'll, I'll post something like, um, you know, kind of words. Yeah, I don't know, like motivational words or something. And they're like, I love that. Or I, you know, I closed another deal or my family because I want people to know that I'm also family oriented. My family is important. And mm-hmm. uh, as, well, as well, you know, as, with God as well. So, yeah, you know, really letting people know who you are and what uh, ultimately that you like. And if they like it too, that, that definitely helps. So if, if people want to connect with you, they want to find out more, um, about what it is you're doing and possibly get involved, what should they do? How do they find you? Facebook is top one. Find me on Facebook. Um, that is like the number one thing to find me. I do mm-hmm. I do have two Facebooks because, um, and one is named Annie. Um, that has to do with Facebook postings. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why there's two. So either one's fine, Ann McClary mm-hmm. or Annie McClary. Um, and then normally I, you can, uh, my, my business number, uh, it's 515-517-8647. That's another great place to find me. You might get an auto message, uh, that is sent mm-hmm. out there with my automation CR, my awesome, or the awesome CRM that I'm with, uh, for an automation. If you get that auto message, it's just let you know, I missed it at, and it's important, but then my family's important too. So there you go. Well, I really appreciate you stopping by and, you know, letting people know uh, just that it can be done and that that you're still out here doing it. And that even if you're the single mom who's feeling a little overwhelmed, that there's automation systems is how you do it. You know, it's either time or money. And uh, if you have a little bit of money, you can buy back some of that time. Yep, for sure. Yeah. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for the time. Thank you. (laughs) No problem. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next episode. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed that episode. And as always, if you want to listen to more daily interview content, make sure you subscribe. And if you're an active real estate investor and you're doing deals and you'd like to get featured on this show, then just head over to DaveInterviewsYou.com. Now at MoneyPartnerFormula.com, we help real estate investors to create a process for predictably getting capital so they can do more deals without relying on hard money lenders or the banks. We do this by building them a private capital marketing system. Now, if you want help turning yourself into a big money capital attraction machine, then book a call with our team to see how we can help. Just visit MoneyPartnerFormula.com to find out more. All right, take care and we'll see you on the next interview.